Hey guys, this video is going to be a little different, hence why the angle is pretty shocking right now. Basically, uh, we're going to try and repair a PlayStation 4 or off eBay. Now I'll put the listed on the screen, but this PS4 was £90. The buyer says strictly that the only thing wrong with it was the disk drive. Excuse the dog. Um, basically, um, you can see how bad this packaging is because it's already split open. The only thing wrong was the disk drive and it can be used fine digitally. So I'm hoping you guys can actually see this. Unfortunately, I can't see what you're seeing right now. Yeah, so if I pull this in a bit more, uh, we'll open it up. Initially, it said it didn't include any cables, um, but then eventually he decided that he was gonna send some cables, which was nice of him, actually. Now, as with all these eBay purchases, I'm very, very wary. I don't, tend to buy faulty goods, if I'm honest, because um, you don't know what you're getting, and often the people that are selling this to you are people that fix them for a living. And so the console would have been opened. Now this console has been opened, uh, which is my first big no-no, but I did it anyway. He said he had the drive replaced seven months ago, and the drive's now gone again, and it's not taking the disc in all the way. And that's what he said wrong with it. So. Nothing else should be wrong with it, in theory. Uh, yeah, we've got a nice HDMI cable here. Uh, good. And that's what he said. I checked his other listings. He doesn't seem to be a seller of any other goods. He had a t-shirt and something else. He just seems like an average guy. And that's what I'm hoping, at least. Because otherwise, £90 spent is quite a big £90. And if I can use it digitally, I'm happy, because that's what I bought it for. But if I can fix the disk drive, even better. Now, it's a white PS4. Um, and what he showed in the pictures, the, uh, the casing didn't like it been on properly, so I was a bit like, hmm, that needs reseating, probably needs some new thermal paste, uh, maybe it's a bit dusty, but I'm getting into it now, and it seems to be fine. So I'm a little bit like, hmm, has this guy attempted a repair and totally screwed it? I wanted to uh, give it to my uh, partner so she could play games with me. So that's the whole point. And I didn't mind digital only because I'm going to get full up 76 digitally instead of buying the collector's edition now so that we can both play. Right, so here's the PS4. Actually, there's some rattling around in there which I don't like. Uh, there's some rattling around. You can see that the warranty stickers have been removed. Uh, if I look under the hood, we've still got a 400 gig hard drive. And there's a fair bit of dust in there. So perhaps this guy is telling the truth and he hasn't opened it in a while. I'm sorry if you can't see this on camera, guys. Uh, obviously, my camera's not positioned totally perfectly, but that's what it looks like. And as you can see, the dog is trying to eat it. No, Ted, it's not for eating. Um, yeah, so we're going to plug it in and see what happens. So I'll uh, jump cut. Plugged in, we're on the right channel, and here comes the moment of truth if he's basically bullshitted the whole time. And we're on, which is always a good sign. It's taken a bit of a while to boot though. He says he reset it to factory settings. In fact, it's taken a hell of a long time to boot. Okay, well we're, we're in. We're in. So we'll set it up. I've got a game to test out. Um, I've got a controller here to plug in. So we'll set it up uh, and then we'll see what happens. But so far, so good. He seems to be telling the truth, although there is some rattling in there, so I'm gonna have to uh, take it apart anyway to remove the rattling sounds and see what the hell's going on, because maybe something in there is actually fixable. Another thing I'd like to do is change the thermal paste, something I did on mine last year. And the reason I bought this one is because my disk drive was doing this exact same thing last year and uh, I managed to get it working. So it's checking for connection environment, uh, use Wi-Fi, 
Right, I'm going to jump cut this, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so everything's kind of gone well, and we're all signed in. Uh, you may hear the dog in the background, he seems to be picking stuff up. Um, so we're actually signed in. Uh, if you guys want to see, the PS4 is there, um, plugged in nicely. So, the seller has, has not lied on this part. It does work indeed digitally, which is already good, because that's what I paid for, right? 90 quid. So we're going to stick in a game now. And uh, we're going to see what happens. So when we push the eject button, it sounds, but then when we put the disc in, it's, right, it's doing this, <laughs> it's doing this, look, okay, something's not right there at all, look, but even with mine, I could actually uh, put a disc in and it wouldn't do that. So something's not right. Something's gone severely wrong inside there. Which sucks because it means we're going to have to open it up. It's not as simple as I hoped it would be. Um, and I can't just run the disc in because it's not, it's not taking it at all. So something tells me something's wrong with the disc drive. I will try and... Because uh, what I was hoping was is there's a little hole down the side of the PlayStation um, where you can change uh, or manually eject. So I might try that, manually ejecting Malaki to see if I can get it to manually eject. And if I can, then maybe there's a disc in there. Uh, but considering it's not showing any disc, I doubt it's that, which sucks. Personally, sucks a little. I would say a little because it still works. So that's always a bonus. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, attempt to probably take a look inside and uh, I'll see you in a little bit. So basically, after the rattling in the box, we found that there's two pegs. So I think we can fix this. So I'm going to put these pegs back in and then put it back together. From what I've seen, I'm not even going to be able to do this because the camera shot's terrible. Can, can you see me on the shot? Can you check for me? Mm -hmm. Yeah? So the peg, I think, goes in this end. I'm not starting then. I think. <laughs> Hey, Bill. Because it goes in here and sits in like this, so I'm guessing it, it only goes on one way. So I'm thinking it goes in like this, and then this flap needs to be pulled out. What is that? In? Somehow I don't think that's it. There's two little notches. Doesn't feel right. Hang on guys. So basically now what I've done is I've managed to snap it into place. So the two rollers are there. Um, and everything is in place now, so this should, if it's the original drive, in theory work. Uh, as you can see, the white PS4 is dismantled. I didn't want to dismantle it entirely, um, because it would have took time on video, if you know what I mean. So I just dismantled it and uh, opened the drive up. So what I'm going to do now is put it back together uh, with this like this, and see if it works. So the good thing is everything goes together quite nicely, um, and because I haven't really taken any of the cables out, this should all just slot back into place pretty well and will hopefully work. So I'm going to slot it back in now and uh, we'll see what happens. So we're pretty much back together now. Um, I'm actually going to just plug it in, uh, put the hard drive in before I uh, do anything else. So I'm going to put the hard drive in there because I may have to take it apart again in case obviously it doesn't work. Now the guy could have potentially, this is what I don't like about eBay is that the guy could have potentially done this on purpose um, just so that 
we think it is what it isn't, if you see what I mean. Because nobody would have actually uh, usually gone in there and checked anything. Um, so I'm thinking perhaps, perhaps that's what they expected. Um, it's for no one to go in and check, and obviously if someone goes in and check, checks then potentially you could say that it's not your fault in a sense, if you see what I mean, because it could still be that the drive is not the right drive, they just caused a second um, failsafe if you will. Um, so we're switching her on now, as you can see, she's on, we're booting, so hopefully, I mean, sadly there was no disc in there. So whoever must have done it must have got the disc out, which is what makes me think it's some, something different. I'm really hoping it's not, and I'm hoping that this, <laughs> that's all it is, and we've managed to fix it. But hey how, if it's still usable digitally, I'm happy. If it's usable with the discs now, I'm even happier because I've only paid 90 quid for it. And you can sell these for 200 and... 200 quid, I think, in the UK at the moment. In fact, you can get one six, you can get 160 plus at CX. So in goes the disc, and the disc is uh, has gone in. So now we get to see if it actually works. The moment of freaking truth. I'm gonna be so happy if this has worked because um, I was not expecting it to. So although the drive does sound a little noisy, the bullet's clearly been ramming his discs in. So this is good sign. Well, whatever. And we're in. No errors. Nothing. We have actually just fixed the PS4 that only costs ninety pounds and a white one of that that's in really good shape. So I think what happened is is the guy probably um, didn't get the the drive fixed at all. And, just to show you, she's sat there nicely, I have no other PS4s here, that's the only one, she's sat there. Uh, we'll even eject the disc to show you that this is actually Disney Infinity. <laughs> We've just fixed the PS4 for £90, quoted. That, that my friend, is a freaking steal, I'm really happy about that. So if you like this video guys and you want to see more of this, then let me know in the comment section below. But potentially there may be some difficulty with that because obviously funds is an issue. This is this for me is a one-off purchase. I actually cancelled a pre-order to get this. Um, so yeah, I'm super chuffed. I'm stoked now. I'm going to put it all back together. I'm going to go and uh, share the good news with my partner who's going to have this PS4 for herself. All is sweet. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.